children d example yes c is over okay so yeah see the next question d it is 4200 okay minus 1325 children tell me what will you do when you have zeros in the minus here you have zeros okay so what will you do you will ask the formula yeah you will ask the formula uh -huh. no yes see here from the hundreds place yeah very good so what you will do you will reduce it to 100 okay and you will give what time to the zero time okay so it will now become how much 10 okay but what the ones will tell zero ones will tell you that please give me one Ten ones, okay. So what the spread will do? Ten tens will tell. Wait, I will give you one ten, okay. So it is now it will be reduced to nine. Yes or no? Initially it was ten. Now it is reduced to nine. So one will be shifted to zero tens. Yes. Zero ones, zero ones. Now it has become ten ones. Okay. Now is it easy to subtract children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. So subtract five tens from ten tens. It will be five, five ones. Okay. Yeah. Nine tens and two tens. If you subtract, what do you get? This and this. Yes, children. Is it possible here to subtract three from one? Uh -huh. No. What will you do? You will ask. You will ask thousand friend to give you one one hundred. Okay. Yes. Yes. So now one will become eleven hundred. Okay. Yes. Eleven hundred. Have to subtract three hundred from that. Yes. How much it will be?
and here three hundred will be turned into two hundred. Ah, okay. Yes. So subtract thirteen and nine. Subtract nine from thirteen. What is the answer? Four. Very good. It is four. Okay. Two hundred minus two hundred. Zero. 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 Okay. This is this is our actual subtraction. So, what is the shortcut method we are using here, children? Just see here. If you add one to two hundred and ninety-nine, children add one. Three hundred. Yes. This is three hundred. Okay. Yes. One. Here, if you are adding one to the if you are adding one to subtract, you should also add it to the minus. Which is the minus here? Three hundred. Three hundred. Ten to the power. Okay. Yes. So see, if you add if you add one to subtract, yes. Very good. Children, now is it now is it not very easy than our actual calculation? See, four, six minus zero, six. Okay, four minus zero, four. Three minus zero, three minus zero. Yes. So children, yeah. If you tally both of the answers, you can see that. With our actual subtraction and by using a shortcut method, both answers are same. Okay, so what you can do, you can add or subtract to get the ending numbers as zero. Children, please mute. Please mute. Maget, good. Please mute. Yes. Nama. Voice is not clear. You can hear me. I'm watching you. Yeah, I'll check. Yes. So by doing, by following both the methods, we will get the answer same. That is forty-six. So what is the method to be followed? Here we are adding one. To two hundred and ninety-nine, so that we get the ending numbers as zero. Okay, if ending numbers are zero, it is very easy to subtract. Okay, see here, six minus zero is six, four minus zero is four, three minus three is zero. Don't only add it to one number. You have to add to both numbers. That is, you have to add to subtract and also to minus. Okay, here I have used my word subtract. Okay, so that I can get the ending numbers as zero. Okay. Okay, ma'am. First method is it clear? Okay, ma'am. Yes. So next one. One more example here. I was I added one number that is one, but here sometimes you will also have to subtract. Okay, see three thousand four hundred and fifty-two. Okay, and two thousand and thirty-one. Which number can you make it ending number as zero? One. Yeah, which is that? One. Yes, it is subtract. Okay, yes. See here, children. If you subtract one. Okay, this number thirty one last ending will be three zero. Okay, check if you subtract one from three thousand four hundred fifty two. What do you get? Two three thousand four hundred fifty two. You subtract one from that. Yes. Very good. Okay. Two thousand and thirty-one. Subtract one from that. Thirty. Very good. It is two thousand and thirty. Okay. Here, first you tell me what is the actual calculation. Two minus one. Two minus one. One. Five minus three. One. One. Five minus three. Two. Four minus zero. Four. Three minus two. One. One. Okay. Yes. Tell me, children, what will be the case here? One minus zero. Yes. 
children, please mute. One thousand four hundred twenty-one. Okay, so here if you subtract with the actual calculation, our actual calculation, and by using a shortcut method, in both cases we get the same answer. Okay, it is that you can either add one or subtract one so that you get the ending numbers as zero. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. In the exercise, the questions are asked as you should use the first shortcut method, use the second shortcut method, and solve the following problems. Okay. The first method is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So the first shortcut method, shortcut method one, we saw that we can add or subtract. Okay, I will ask you in the next class what is the first shortcut method? First shortcut method is regarding adding a number or subtracting a number to get the ending number as zero. This is our first shortcut method. Okay, next one, children, just see the shortcut method two. Method two. Okay. The example taken is forty-three. Subtract forty-three from fifty-six. Please mute. Subtract forty-three from fifty-six. Okay. So children, tell me what is our subtrahend? Which is our subtrahend here? Fifty-six or forty-three? Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Forty-three. Okay. From C fifty-six. C fifty-six is our minor. Okay. And what is forty-three? Forty-three is our subtract. Subtract. Okay. Yes. So children just say whenever they ask you subtract forty-three from fifty-six. Here they are telling you from fifty six means fifty six is a minus. Okay, forty three is a subtract. Please mute, children. It is disturbing the class. Please mute. Don't unmute until I ask you the question. It is from fifty six. Fifty six will be a minus. Okay, forty three is a subtract. Is it clear now? Okay, the number which has yes, the number which has to be subtracted, it will be taken into expanded form. Okay, which number we have to subtract? Forty three. We are subtracting it from fifty six. Okay, so forty three. Tell me what is the expansion form of forty three? Forty plus three. Very good. It is forty plus three. Forty plus three plus. Three. Okay. Yes. What is the method tells us? It is that first you have to take the minimum that is fifty six. From fifty six you have to subtract first expanded form. What is the number? Expanded form. Yes. Forty three expanded numbers are forty plus three. Okay. The first number you have to take. Fifty-six minus forty. Tell me, children, what is the answer? Fifty-six minus forty. It is sixteen. Sixteen minus four. One. The answer is sixteen. Okay. Tell me, what is the next step? Whatever answer you get, that you have to again subtract it from the next expanded number. Yes, sixteen minus the next number is three. So the answer is thirty. What did we do, children? In the second method, in the second method, what number you have to subtract? That you have to take it into expanded form. Okay, expanded form. Let me write here. Fifth, fifth. 
Fifty-six. You take two numbers. First is forty. Fifty-six minus forty, we get sixteen. From sixteen, you have to subtract again three. Gumte, what are you doing? Yes, ma'am. No one is paying attention today. Uma. How will you explain the shortcut method to? Yes, teacher. Shortcut method to the number that has to be subtracted. It should be taken into an expansion form. Okay, forty three is there. How will you expand it? Forty plus three. Okay. Next, whatever the mind point is given to us. Okay, that mind point you have to subtract it from the expanded numbers. Expanded numbers are forty and three. Okay, so पहले क्या करना है? From this fifty-six, you have to subtract. I will explain once again. Please pay attention. Now forty-three, the expanded form will be. What is the expanded form of forty-three? Forty plus three. Yes, it is forty plus three. Okay, just say children. The number, the bigger number from which you are going to subtract. Forty-three. Fifty-six is there. From fifty-six, you subtract first forty. Whatever answer you get, again you subtract it from the next expanded number that is three. Okay. Tell me the first process is from fifty-six. You subtract forty. See here. Sixty. Okay. It is sixty. Very good. Okay. Next time, what you will do? Take this sixteen. Whatever answer I got, sixteen. Next, again subtract it from the next expanded number. Thirty. Thirty. Yes. So the answer is thirty. समझ में आया? Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Yes, children. So next shortcut method three. Don't try it. Just see. Don't try it. Just see here. Okay. So the next method tells us that. Okay. Another way to find the difference is you have to keep on counting ahead on the smaller number. Now to subtract thirty nine from sixty seven. Okay, children. See, you have to subtract thirty nine from sixty seven. This is a third shortcut method. Don't get confused. Third method tells us that you should keep on counting from the smaller number up to you get a bigger number. Okay. For that, one more small trick. Just see, you have thirty nine. Okay. What is the nearest number to this round of number? Forty. Okay. Forty. Okay. Yes. Children, forty. Forty. You tell me from thirty-nine to forty, what is the difference? Thirty-nine is smaller. Forty is bigger. No, no, no. I am asking what is the difference? Difference means you have to find the uh, minus forty minus thirty-nine. How much? Forty minus thirty-nine. From thirty nine, one no. It's only one answer. Why nineteen? From thirty nine, if you count forty, is it not one? Fifty-two, 
Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. How many? Eight. 